welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to try the Glaze product right here, which is not a new product. I'm sure many people have heard of it, but I've just been kind of bored with my hair color lately. We are traveling full-time in the RV, so I can't exactly, you know, make hair appointments like I used to. So I saw this and figured, let me give it a try. It is a super color conditioning gloss, and I have mine in the shade Honey Blonde. Here's a sample before and after of what it might look like. We will see because my hair it's grown out this is my natural hair color right here i haven't colored it since probably march i think something like that and then this is hair color right here it's like blonde a little kind of like a dimensional blonde on the ends so i have like a bit of a rooted look going on this is my natural color i'm interested to see if it's gonna deposit any color it's not permanent it's semi-permanent and lasts up to 10 washes but i'm gonna give it a try the directions say to apply it to dry or damp hair leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash it off. Wash it off until the water runs completely clear. I'm gonna apply it to dry hair and we're gonna see, but here's my hair color before. My hair is fine and thin, so I'm trying to avoid lightening it, but I'm hoping to go for like a mushroom blonde, if you will, kind of like almost like an ash blonde, but not really. But I've just been so, I don't know, I'm not like crazy about my hair color anymore and I loved switching it up. I used to always love switching it up, but now it's just not the same. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a color depositing. It smells really nice, color depositing um, hair product, if you will. I've tried a rose gold one in the past. It says start from the roots to the tip. So I'm familiar with color depositing products. I have used them before, and I do think they work well. They last a few washes, but I've never used this one in particular. So I'm gonna give it a try. Apply it to my hair, my battery's dying so I'm trying to work fast. And at the same time, it's supposed to add shine, gloss, softness, all that good stuff. And it says I think there's like two or three applications per bottle. All right, I have my teensy weensy schmeensy bun at the top of my head. I applied it all throughout the hair. It's definitely harder to apply in dry hair as opposed to damp hair, I will say that. And then I went with a wide tooth comb and kind of like brushed it through gently starting from the ends, moving my way to the roots, just to kind of like make sure everything is evenly distributed. And then I put it up in this bun situation here. And I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes. I want to wash my hands and everything. Um, definitely be more careful if you're doing more of like a vibrant color. I'm hoping it kind of gives this mushroom color right here and takes away that blonde. I was just not crazy about that blonde anymore. It was kind of like almost like a yellow green blonde. So I wanted to do something with it. So hoping this makes my hair more of a mushroom honey blonde color, but we'll see. Could go really bad. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes once I wash it out. So I'm gonna let it marinate for 10 minutes and I'm gonna wash it out and then pop back on here when it's time to dry the hair and style it and all that fun stuff. All right, I kept it in for about 10 minutes and washed it out until the water ran clear. It still looks pretty light, like I could still see a lot of blonde, a lot lighter than I expected it to be. And this is with my hair being wet, so I assume when it's dry, it's probably gonna be even lighter. I mean, it seems it could darken a little bit, but we'll see. So I'm going to style my hair like I usually do. I'm gonna apply some leave-in conditioner. Then I, the big blowout jelly from Redken. I rotate between this and the Color Wow volumizing uh, mousse of sorts. It's not really a mousse, but I feel like the Color Wow, I think I'm liking that one a little bit better than this Redken one. I feel like that one probably offers a little bit more fluff to the hair, but they're very, very similar in what they do. And then I'm gonna seal the cuticles with a hair oil. I have this one from Way. Just the ends, because I do have very fine thin hair, so I don't want to make it look greasy after I just washed it. And then I'm gonna give it a quick blow dry with this. I got this off of Amazon. It is the In Glam, it's almost like the Dyson, I wanna say. I think it's very good quality, especially considering the price. And it comes with all these multiple attachments right here. It only comes with one curler. I just did a review if you guys wanna check it out. But I'm gonna blow dry the hair, kinda like so it's not too wet and damp. And then I'm gonna go in with a round brush kind of style it like I usually do. I was gonna 
gonna curl my hair with this, but I decided I'm just gonna leave it like this. Like you can see, I started curling it here. My hair does not hold a curl well. I'm still trying to figure out the curling attachment. I feel like that one takes the most to kind of figure out, even on the Dyson. But I do love this tool right here. I'll link it down below because I think it's so great and just makes styling your hair so much easier. But this is the after for the color and I actually really, really like it. Like it's this really pretty, it's kind of exactly what I envisioned, but it's still a little bit lighter like it looks a little bit darker on camera, especially since the mirror is blocking the window, but it blended really well, even though I had, you know, natural hair color right here. I feel like it colored, deposited color on that as well. And then I got rid of that blonde that I wasn't crazy about, like that weird blonde. So the honey blonde, I'm actually really happy with. I might do like one more, run it through one more time to kind of get a, maybe hopefully a bit of a deeper color, but I really, really like the outcome. It doesn't last for 10 washes, so I'll have to see. And then kind of incorporated every 10 washes or so. I think that'd be really cool, really fun. And it worked exactly how I thought it did. My hair does feel soft and you know, it doesn't feel dry. I wouldn't say my hair feels any softer than it did when I would use like my normal hair care routine, if that makes sense. But you know, it does feel really, really soft and I don't, I truly do not have, like I'm not loving my hair right now. It's at like this weird stage where I'm trying to grow it out. And I had a lot of breakage going on because of the bleaching. And so my ends look even stringier than ever. So I'm not loving my hair, but the color I really, really like and I'm really happy with it. So would recommend if you're looking for like a nice mushroom, honey blonde of sorts. I would say it's probably more mushroom than anything, but I guess it depends on your the hair color you're starting off with. It might vary, but for me, very happy. So I'll leave the link to the glaze down below, which I'm sure you can just find it on Amazon. And then this right here, I highly recommend. But otherwise, that is my review, my experience. Just wanted to share. I just wanted to try it out. I was curious, wanted to try it out. So I was like, let me just film a video on it. So that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in each